Many of us have received dodgy emails asking for money, promising things too good to be true. Now artificial intelligence could be used to try and dupe us. A deep fake is an AI produced copy of a human being and this technology makes fraud of a new kind very, very possible. One bank is fighting deep fakes with deep fakes. For scammers, it is a powerful tool they can use to steal your money. Welcome to this edition of SciTech from London, where we're delving into the rise of deepfakes. Video, audio and pictures that appear to be real, but are not. Just like that introduction there, that wasn't me. In fact, it was my avatar, created using artificial intelligence. Would you be able to tell the difference? My avatar was made with my consent through a platform run by Synthesia. It produces AI-generated content for legitimate purposes, like training videos, marketing and customer service, with strict safeguards in place. We will never generate an avatar of someone without their explicit consent. The other one is control. We apply content moderation on the videos that are created. And the third is around collaboration, so working with industry groups, working with uh, governments and policymakers to make sure that this technology is developed and used responsibly. Deepfakes that have malicious intent copy the image of real people from photos, videos and audio to misrepresent them or an organisation. Professor Michael Waldridge, an AI expert at the University of Oxford, says the technology is rapidly improving. If you can take it to the point where you can be in a call with somebody that you think is your boss looking at somebody's video and it's an AI produced video on the other end, then it starts to become very difficult to know what is real and what is fake. In a survey published in July, just over 40% of respondents aged 16 plus said they'd seen a deep fake in the last six months, but less than one in 10 were confident in their ability to spot one. One bank has now launched a campaign deploying its own deep fake content to raise awareness of the dangers. As you might have guessed, this isn't me, this is a deep fake created to warn you about deep fakes. Technology companies are also tackling deep fakes. This new phone feature pits AI against AI, helping users to spot what's real and what's not. The on-device AI carries out a facial scan of a person in an image or a video. The algorithm analyzes things like the composition, whether or not there are any pixel imperfections, or whether or not there are any anomalies to the facial features of the person in that image or video. And crucially, it allows the user to see in real time whether that person is real. Let's take a look at an example specifically. So if we have a look at this, this lady, what are your thoughts here? Real or fake? Ooh. Oh, it's difficult to tell, isn't it? I'm not sure I would know whether that was a deep fake or not. Let's have a look. If I click on the magic capsule here, you can see right away that the on-device AI is doing its work. It's carrying out a facial scan to determine if this person is real. And within seconds, we have an answer. Here we can see that a suspected face swap has been detected and the likelihood of this person not being real is 93%. And this alerts the user that firstly, the person is not real, but secondly, and crucially, they could be at risk of being caught up in some sort of scam or fraud. So basically now you're a technology company fighting technology. Well ultimately for us this is about ensuring the privacy and security of our users. I think we all know that technology has been developing at quite a pace for some years now thanks in part to AI and inevitably there will be people who are determined to exploit that through the creation of so-called deep fakes. And at an industry level I think there's an onus on all of the key players to play their part in stemming the rise of deep fakes moving forward. Fraud is not the only concern. Deepfakes are also fueling intimate image abuse online. One victim whose real identity is protected by this avatar was deepfaked by a former friend. I felt confused and taken aback. A documentary about this kind of deepfake abuse spawned a campaign group now demanding tougher regulations to block publishing sites. I have spoken to over 30 survivors of this and in every single case their lives have shrunk. It has had an impact on their job, on their career, on their sense of their body, on their sense of their identity. The stakes could not be higher. 